Hello everyone, so today I have a blog for you and today I love Christmas, I love food and I love family so I roped my mum in <laughs> and we're going to cook. We're going to do a orange and cinnamon cheesecake and um, yeah, you're going to watch us make it and then I'll show you the end result. Right, what do we do first? So I'm going to get my mum to do most of it because make yourself useful. So I'm going to go through the ingredients. We've got... 45 grams of unsalted butter, 150 grams of ginger snap biscuits, that's going to be for the base just to make it extra Christmassy, 300 grams of soft cream cheese, 60 grams of caster sugar, 150 millilitres of double cream, one teaspoon of cinnamon, orange or orange extract but I'm going to use fresh orange and the orange zest, and then some orange chocolate. I don't think we'll use all that but we'll eat some of it while we're making it. <laughs> yeah I've already measured it all out so we're just going to get straight into it. So you need a loose bottom tin that unclips so that you can get it out without it getting stuck. So if you don't mind greasing that for me, mother, if I point it down then I can show you guys. So while mum's greasing that, I'm going to go and put this in the microwave just so it melts down. So, so in my blender, my Ninja, um, I think it's a Nutri blender or something, yeah. something like that. Um, I'm going to put all the ginger snap biscuits so that they ground down finely so I can make a nice base. I wonder if they're all fit. Hopefully they will. Okay, there. Ready for the noise? Yeah, it's really loud, so I'll put Christmas music over this so you don't have to listen to it. So once your biscuits have turned into sort of like a breadcrumbs, like just little crumbs, add that to a bowl, and then I'll go and get the melted butter. Then you pour that on top. Because we want to make it so that it goes hard on the bottom. Like a big biscuit. That's it. There's some lumps it's, in here, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's home cooking, it's rustic. Oh, it smells. It does smell really good, doesn't it? That it's smells Christmassy already. Mm. So once all the biscuits are covered in the butter, you then put it over into your greased tin. Did you want to do that, Mum? I feel like I've taken over. I would love to. I'm going to take you back over here. Okay. So Mum's just going to pat it down into the tin so that it makes a hard bottom. And I always use my knuckles. Yeah, you get into the corners easier though. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure chefs won't appreciate that. But oh well. Who cares? It's so nice and patted down. Uh, you put that in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now that that's in the fridge, I'm going to mix the cream cheese and the caster sugar together. Mum is going to whisk up the double cream until light peaks. So I'm going to mix these together, so we'll do this and um, I'll just put Christmas music so you don't have to listen to the noise. Okay, so mine's all mixed together, mum's is all nice and thick now, so then you have to mix these two together. Okay, so I'm adding the cream cheese into the whipped double cream. I'm going to start getting this orange ready. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Christmas Eve. I really like um, orange and cloves. Oh yes. Makes me think of Christmas. Yeah, lovely. I can smell that already. Oh, isn't it nice? Mulled wine, that's what we should have oh. had while we made this. Well, you see, then you don't waste any wine, because we can plop that. Put it in the mulled wine. And you want the juice of this too, don't you? Mm-hmm. I'm going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon. I like cinnamon, so if more goes in, I don't mind. All the better. There you go, see, lots going in. Lovely, nice. I would say that was more than one, but... <laughs> yeah, you see when the chefs do it, they get crazy. <laughs> um, and then the orange you have to put in. So should we squeeze, yeah, do you want to squeeze the orange in? it through my fingers so I don't drop the pits. pits. <laughs> I think I was lucky there, no? No, no pits. Yeah. There's loads of juice. Mm. It's like carrot. It does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Mix that all together. This smells like Christmas in a bowl. It does. So now I'm using Bourneville Orange Dark Chocolate. You can use any chocolate in it, but I feel like adding more orange would just be good. The Let's do best. A nice little bit of chocolate. She's lethal with a knife. <laughs> yeah, I only need about yeah, eight well, cubes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so eight cubes of this size. Just to give it a bit of texture. Which means 
You get to eat some. Yay! <laughs> so the best part of cooking. Mm. Stir that in. Okay, and then you just put that on top of the biscuit. Lovely. So 20 minutes later, this is nice and set now. And then you just put your cream mixture on top and then let it set again for 60 minutes. Mum can do that because I spill it everywhere. <laughs> oh, I'll spill it. I will. <laughs> so that's basically it. Now you put this in the fridge for about 60 minutes and let it set. But this is just a really quick and easy full of Christmas flavour sort of cheesecake that you can give to your friends or eat all yourself, like I probably will. So um, I'm just going to put this in the fridge now and then I'll check in with you when it's set. Doesn't it smell good? Mmm, lovely. It smells proper Christmassy, so right, I'm going to go and do that. Okay. Um, wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh look, you're so short. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs>